Guess who found the baggage first? Yay! I win! You let's win go! Hug. I win a hug? Yay! Yeah, let's go! Five minutes guys coming. I think it's Salinda. I think it's a Desi guy. They wanna ask Bhaiya Ji, Bhaiya, throw tips there now. Weather seems lovely. Amazing. It's like treasure hunt. I have a cabinet in front of you. Hello from Porto! Look at the views from the window. I'm going to do an Airbnb tour later tomorrow. We are currently figuring out where should we go and eat in Porto. There's something on Siesta time, which I thought was just a Goan thing, but clearly it's not a Goan thing, it's a Portuguese thing and Portuguese colonized Goa, so. But look at those tiles, what are they called? Azu. Look at those blue tiles. This is what I came to Porto for, to see those blue tiles. Look at those tiles from the window, oh my God. But for now, we're trying to eat this crepe, which we got from the airport, and then head out. No plan, there's no freaking plan. This is making me so anxious because I am usually somebody who likes to have all my days planned. Like I know hour by hour what we are doing, where we are going. We've not booked a single thing on this trip other than our stays. Ah, interesting, let's go. Thought I'll do a quick outfit check. I've dragged Dean into this as well. This topi is Dean's. I do not know how to spell this. How do you? Creep. Is it? Okay, fine. That is what it is. I forgot to bring my topi, so I've stolen his. These necklaces are from Monica Veneta, earring H&M. And then this one is from Uniqlo. This is from, I've forgotten, it's from ASOS. What is this, Dean? Where is it from? Okay, this is from Topshop. Bag is from Uniqlo again. These shorts are from Super Dry. And chapels are Hava. Minions, is that how you say it? It's yeah. like, please don't put my feet pictures up on the internet. And then Dean, it's your turn. My shirt is Essentials. My shorts are Abercrombie. <laughs> and my shoes are Jordans. Topi is just Jordans again. Tashma is Prada. Gift for my right. All deeds. Okay, so let's go. Deeds. <laughs> Try to catch my breath. Catch my breath. <sighs> that felt like level 16 inclination on the treadmill. My heart rate must be at least 150 to 160 right now. I need some support. Dean. <laughs> We probably spent 30 minutes, definitely more than 30 minutes. Yep. Yeah, it's the photo. It's USP. It's USP of photo, that's what uh, I'm going to say. The, tile, the blue uh, tile architecture. It's called Azure. I don't want to say it Azure. wrong. <laughs> Stop being fun of me. I can't 
have just now finished lunch because we just had sandwiches. Don't know if that counts for lunch or not, but we did try port wine. White port wine. White port wine. White port wine which was a bit of a surprise for me personally. I thought it was a bit too strong. The person said it was the lightest one. It took me an hour and a half to finish 100 ml. And now we are off to meet the Melza. Yay! Meeting her to get authentic Porto recommendations. <laughs> Literally sat there. And <laughs> that got turned on. Suddenly I sizzled, I heard it, and then I started bubbling, and I was like, ah! <laughs> I should have filmed this. I should have had my camera on. <laughs> yeah. catch up yesterday was day one it was so amazing we were literally just walking around got so excited seeing the i was trying to remember the pronunciation of saying those styles last night 10 times now i've forgotten how to say it azule azule, azule. i heard you saying it but I, now i've forgotten it i'll put up the pronunciation now azule ho now we are going to go to porto cathedral to the station which also again has the azule ho tiles there also the church which has the Azulejo. Tiles there. Just walk across the bridge. Go to the other side of the bridge. A lot of the cute wine bars are there where they sometimes offer wine tasting and wine tours. Porto wine is really strong. I think one for the day is max. And I had two glasses and that felt like a lot. I'll try not having any today. So I'm starting my day with tea. Bye. <laughs> Bye. our brunch and now we're going to Sao Bento station then we are going to go to Porto Cathedral
challenge oh, looking yeah. up and down. Cardio day. Every day is cardio day. Wrong footwear. Again. Look at these narrow alleyways. Like we've got direction one, direction two, direction three, and direction four. And we are absolutely confused which way we are supposed to go it's because GPS has gone for a toss. So we're just winging it. This is going to be an interesting journey back up. Hey guys, this is the end of Porto vlog. I'll do a quick Airbnb tour, which is very classic my travel vlogs. Where at the end of travel in the city, we do a rating of the city and then we do an Airbnb tour. So this is one of the nicest Airbnbs. We're literally five minutes walk away from all the main central Porto bits. So it's a one bed Airbnb. So this is the entrance. It's on the second floor. Got quite a spacious, long staircase thing going on. Lots of space. So you've got one big suitcase which you are both sharing. This is just cabin. Got nice rack to hang your coats and stuff. And then when you come here, you've got the washroom. Nice spacious sink area. We put all our toiletries there. Obviously, you've got your toilet and bidet. Pretty much self-explanatory. It's a nice big walk-in shower that we have. And then it's a long alleyway. I'll show you the living room first. This is the living room. Really cute. This didn't come with the flat, <laughs> but I'll take it. And then you've got a nice couch, seating area here. We had dinner yesterday here. It was so nice. We didn't use the TV space. We put our laptops here and watched stuff last night. And then you've got two nice balcony areas to go out to. I'll show you guys. It's so nice. It's absolutely stunning. These were the views. <laughs> this again didn't come. Oh, there you go. Oh, nice. And put it as nice slow-mo now with nice inspiring quotes and then this will be the intro. But anyway. Very nice quiet street. I keep saying the word nice, but it's very quiet. There's lots of restaurants and coffee shops over here. Then you go back in. So that when Dean's come out of is also in living room. Got him right here again. And the kitchen area and this is obviously uh, open space so I'm doing like this store like I'm gonna sell this flat or something we did not cook very much she gave us this complimentary port wine which we didn't use we're gonna leave it it's got nice cupboard space quite a huge one we did not use this again because we were here literally for two nights very comfy and nice bed i really like the aesthetics of this room because it's all wood and white which is like the kind of aesthetics i would want if and when we buy our own place the nice mirror where i did a lot of my outfit checks and this is today's travel outfit and you've got another balcony from your the bedroom as well so there are three balconies actually okay quick rating of porto on a scale of one to five and also would you come back one two three go five, five. Ooh. and would you come back obviously definitely would come back <laughs> Okay, so this is the end of the vlog. Hope you guys enjoyed our time in Porto. I've missed so much traveling. There's a lot of shit show that went into make this travel plan happen. If you want to know what it was, head to my Instagram post, which gives you a bit of context. But we are so grateful we were able to travel. Now we are off to Lisbon.
it. We'll go and catch up as we're running a bit late and head to Lisbon. We are staying at a really cool Airbnb, which is gonna test our limits because we feel we are old. Dean keeps saying, no babe, we are not that old, but I think we are old and we shouldn't have booked the place there. Anyway, you know everything in Lisbon's vlog. Hope you're looking after yourself and your loved ones. And don't forget to like, share, and subscribe, and we'll see you in the next one. Bye. Mwah. Thank you.